Hello, excitement in the air, and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's England, and they take on Senegal. Absolutely, this should be a good game. I think both sides deserve to be here, but whichever team plays to their full potential should make it into the quarterfinals. It's going to be a good game. Plenty of options, but timely defending when it mattered. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Could cross it in here. And that will be a corner. <laughs> Playing it in. Credit to them for winning back possession. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, I thought he was brilliant last time out. Scored a couple of goals, but it's his general... Oh, could be! And there it is! The opening goal! The ideal way to start! Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. And with that, the attack fizzles out. A bit of running room now on the wing. And will it be the leveller? Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, as you can see, not much power, but great accuracy. He made that look so easy, didn't he? So the ball is rolling again at one all. Henderson. And a creative look about this. But they dealt with the threat first. Diasa. Now, options are plenty. Nicely timed tackle. Bellingham. And Bellingham. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, he hits it with authority. Close. Superb block. Back the game. Return to Saar. Can they forge ahead? Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Foden. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Ismail Assar. Into the advanced position. 
Oh, he looks threatening. Really vital interception. Well, no surprise there. England have enjoyed most of the possession, but in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. Shaw. And Bellingham. Now with Kane. Real chance. Well, he really wants his brace. Well, he looks so bright today. His movement has been excellent. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, no end product. Foden. Cross blocked. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Foden must take the lead here oh he's been denied and they remain locked together well that's a good save but really he should have scored from there that's a big chance played over it might still be problematic well read to ease the pressure. Retaining possession proving difficult. Henderson. Rice with it. Henderson has it. So a half an hour remaining. Determined defending. Kane. Now with Bellingham. Dia. And sloppy in possession. Surely! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. So making the substitution now. Taken short. And over the touchline for what will be an England throw. Twenty minutes to go. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Ismail Assar.
This might be ideal for the counter. Well, they profit from this situation. Well, it was a superb counter-attack, but no goal. Yeah, really good play. Won the ball back well and then countered with great speed. That deserved a goal. Ismail Assar. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Not giving him a moment's peace. Couldn't hang on to it. Mount. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Could be! He's blocked it! Substitution time it is here. Now the delivery, not really the ideal clearance. Well, such a high degree of difficulty, not quite in the end. Well, how good was that? It's such a difficult piece of skill, which he made look so easy. That deserved a goal. Ball's gone. And forward they go again. Can they win this? Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. Henderson. So two minutes to be added on at the end. And he's made headway. Can he finish? Keeper did his job to begin with. Great defending. Bloody top. Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Just avoided extra time. Man. And now the end of it's the contest. The last England have made it through to the last eight. Well, they were certainly pleased to hear the final whistle because that was a really tough match, which in the end they just about deserved to win. This is a good result for them, and they're going to the next round fancying their chances. Well, good luck to any defender trying to stop Marcus Rashford, and they haven't had too much luck on that front, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a good all-round performance today, only emphasised by the late winner. An extremely important moment, and boy, did he deliver. Can he finish? Keeper did his job to begin with. So, how the quarterfinals are setting up here. Well, first of all, round of 16 matches. What were the results? So, Netherlands won 5-4 penalties against Iran. Argentina beat France 2-1. 
think we saw that last time. Den Poland beat Denmark 2-1 and England beat Senegal 2-1. Quarterfinals. Two of them already been played. Brazil beat Morocco 1-0. And look at this. It finished 1-1 between Netherlands and Argentina. Netherlands won 5-4 on penalties. That's Argentina now. Still got Japan against Portugal. And it's going to be England against Poland in the quarterfinals. See you next time.